All right, the Americans are starting to get more aggressive uh, with regard to their appeasement. Um, the, the United States is an appeasing power. Uh, it uses its supports for country like, countries like Israel to get them to appease the enemy, um, even more so than, let's say, for, with Ukraine. Uh, it, you know, it, America demands Israel appease. And, and really, the reason is that Israel is strong, the Palestinians are weak, whereas in Ukraine, Ukrainians are weak, Russia is strong. Uh, so the morality, the morality of our political class, the morality of young people in America, the morality of the Democratic Party, necessitates that ultimately they come out on the side of the underdog, they come out on the side of the weak, and that means they come out on the side of the Palestinians. Uh, Blinken, uh, Secretary of State Blinken, has been in Israel. There's only one reason he would come to Israel at this point, and that is to argue for an immediate ceasefire, for more aid, for more civilian protection. As I've said, the longer this lasts, the more difficult it is for Israel to stand up to the Americans. They need to keep pushing. They need to keep pushing fast. They need to start acting faster. Um, and, and uh, you know, they're finally into a ground operation, but this ground operation could last months. Let's hope that they push it faster. We now have technical terms for a pause versus a ceasefire. Um, but let's hope no pause, no ceasefire. Israel needs to just grind ahead. So, so far, Israel has resisted the calls from the U.S. So far, Israel has insisted that any kind of pause will only occur if hostages are released. And uh, it's unlikely that uh, Hamas is going to release any hostages right now. They're going to use them as cards as long as they can. So Biden is capitulating. Um, Blinken is, every time he comes to the U is Israel, don't view it as a show of support. View it as American pressure on Israel to stop. American pressure on Israel to compromise, to appease, to settle, to create a ceasefire, to, to uh, you know, not to live up to its promises of destroying and dismantling Hamas. Uh, I still think the Americans will win on this one and Israel will fail. I hope I'm wrong. I really, really hope I'm wrong. Uh, but it is, uh, it is very much possible that um, Blinken and, and, uh, and uh, Biden uh, will put the right kind of pressure on Netanyahu to fold. I think Netanyahu would have folded by now if not for some of the other people in the war cabinet who are, I think, uh, better and more principled than he is.